face the real reason why Florian's cutting corners, it's time that Florian gets a job. Jesus Christ, please come on, please. You know, I was waiting for this conversation to, to happen this season. You know, the conversation of, Florian, when are you going to start being a provider? When are you going to get a job? And when are you going to start bringing money into the relationship? And it's crazy because Florian is out here trying to convince Stacy to have a wedding on a park. So therefore it is cheaper and he's trying to get her to spend money in a more cheaper way. But I'm sitting here thinking this guy's got all these ideas financially, but hold on a minute. You don't have a job though. Like the way I see it is like this guy's trying to now control her funds to make sure he doesn't run out. Then therefore, if he doesn't run out, then that means he can live off her for even longer. And the fact is though, his reaction to when she said that, listen, it's time for you to get a job. And he's like, oh, come on. Yo, this guy is no man. He's a boy. I don't know any man. Or I, yeah, I don't know any man that does not want to earn his own money. And any man in this world that does not want to earn his own money is a boy. No woman should be, be should be with a man that does not want to earn his own money. And to be fair, rightly so, no, no man should be with a woman who doesn't want to also earn her own money too. You know what I mean? We all have the ability to have a job and we have the ability to earn money. You know what I'm saying? Equal rights and all them kind of things. You know what I'm saying? Equality! And women even have the ability to earn way much more than men as well. So of course, it's only fair that both people involved earn their own money. And then of course, if it comes to a relationship, you then obviously negotiate however it suits best for the couple themselves in, in particular. But no one should be living off someone else's money. Although I won't lie to you though, I do still believe in the whole housewife thing. Yeah, you know, I, I just I just do believe that to be fair. It's only because sometimes, you know, you talk to some, 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 some females here and there and you just think to yourself, man, this whole independence has got you a bit it's got you a bit stuck up in that. You must think that you're better than man, isn't it? Like, so then I'm like, you know what? Maybe the best way to get a humble woman is maybe if I get one that's like a housewife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, but I like a woman that wants to go out there, that wants to go and earn money, that wants to become a, her own person, man. And that, that, that right there is sexy, bro. Sexy, bro. But then I'm like, anyway, I'm, I'm coming off, off, off course. Let me get back into the video. The bottom line is this story is that Florin is a, uh, what's that word that I say in the UK? He is a P-U-S-S-Y hole. Yes. Pussy. -o. Anyway, let's just continue and see what else is next. <laughs> also, 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 I have just uploaded the full reaction to the full episode on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. I've been card for a little over a year now, and he has not even tried to look for a job. I was hoping with planning this wedding, he would light a fire under his ass. Yeah, yeah. Rah! You know when you find out that man has had a green card for a whole freaking year? And you're sitting here thinking to yourself, so you're telling me you allowed your man. And this is where I put it on, Stacy. You've allowed this guy to be a bum for a whole year. Knowing that he wasn't even looking for a job. Knowing that you was always talking about this dream wedding. Knowing that you've always talked about moving as well, which you have now done to Miami. And the whole time you're telling me you did not stick it on this guy for not looking for a job. And here's the thing. The reason why I stick it on Stacey is because she should have left him. That's why. I'm not saying it's her responsibility to get him a job. I'm not saying it's her responsibility to motivate him to get a job because all those things are his responsibility, but she's still stuck by him. And it was her responsibility to say to him, listen, if you ain't getting a job, see you later. You've enabled his behavior. You allowed him to manifest this behavior of nonsense, of laziness. But hey, man, we live and we learn. But the problem is when it comes to the sisters, there is no learning. Yeah. Especially Darcy. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, we continue. Yeah. I'm definitely ready to progress with this relationship because the looks of Darcy with her level of intelligence makes me want to see more of her. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking level of intelligence? Maybe she's intelligent because she's been able to keep herself relevant. Maybe she's intelligent because she's a successful businesswoman to a certain degree. But then he said looks. It's interesting because later on in this video, there's going to be something else I'm going to show you, which I will then revert back to this point here. But um, if he's talking about looks, I guess he must like women who are a botched, should, should I say? Just keeping it 100. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be beer on the bush. I don't know any man. I actually know there's a lot of men out of this world, to be fair, that will happily have a woman that is botched, to be honest with you. 
it is what it is. Everybody has a suit in this world, if you know what I mean. But someone being botched is not is not for me. That's all I can say for that. Obviously, if he likes a woman that is quite botched and uh, has a lot of insecurities, that is up to him. And 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 the reason why she is botched is because she has a lot of insecurities. And the thing that you got to think about is that if you're with someone that's done a lot of work to themselves and that work hasn't even paid off, you got to think to yourself, well, how much more work are they going to keep getting? This whole financial stuff is definitely something that needs to be addressed, you know? So I feel responsible to like go in and just give them the big bro talk. Uh, well, last time this happened, we know it didn't go well. Especially with Georgie, didn't go well anyway, for sure. The saddest part about it is that uh, Stacy's gonna. It's the Stacy agrees with him and says, "Yeah, you go talk to him and see what happens. Maybe a man of man conversation is gonna motivate him to go and get a job." I mean, listen, I won't lie to you, right? If you're with someone and you're asking them, <laughs> just process what I just said there. If you're with someone and you're going and you have to ask them to go and get a job, you know what? Let's just stop it right there. If you're with someone legit, I'm not going to finish the rest of them. I'm not going to say the rest of what I, what I, I'm not going to say the rest of what I was going to say, because in fact, if you're with someone, you have to ask them to get a job. You shouldn't be with that person. Point blank, period. People need to stop letting people live a life in a fancy car for free. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to, nah, don't be doing that. And the thing is, though, a man should be wanting to, he should be wanting to put money forward for his own wedding. He should be wanting to put fun, uh, money forward for his own home. He should be able to have money to be able to spoil, spoil his woman. You know what I mean? And it's vice versa type situation. You know what I'm saying? But bloody hell, this guy right here front. Mm hmm. Anyway, we continue. Well, you're really sweet. And thank you for your time. And um, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, really enjoy you today. too. All right. So Darcy decided that her date with that guy just wasn't really working for her. So therefore she's cut off ties. But the thing that I found the most funny is she's like, she was like, all right, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. She just said to him, yes. Yeah, so, you know, better for his friends. Anyway, thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you for your time. It's like she's in the office. This is what I said on Patreon. But uh, I just had to show this clip here because this is bloody hilarious. But the way she just was like, thank you for your time. Thank you for your services. Thank you for reaching out. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. You, you know, you know, when you're, when you're on the phone to someone and you're trying to get rid of them and they're taking forever. Like, okay. Thank you for your time. Okay. Bye now. Okay. Speak to them. Okay. 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 Thank you for your time. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. Good. Just, just, just go, man. <laughs> Sorry, but the way she just was like, thank you for your time is so disrespectful, but <laughs> if a girl was to break up with me or tell me that it's not, it's not working and she said, thank you for your time. I'll be like, what do you mean? Why don't what do you mean, thank you for my time? What? What? Who do you think I am? What, you think I'm... <laughs> Girl, I was investing my time in you. Now you're saying thank you for my time. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. It just sounds kind of toxic. But anyway, we continue. Yeah, that, that bit there was just for bands. But yeah, we continue. Yeah. So going back to, the, to, to, to that conversation of her being boshed and, uh, you know, obviously... What I was saying before, this is my point, because this is Darcy and Stacey when they were younger. Look at them then. Look at them then, man. Looking all young, vibrant and beautiful, dark hair and everything. You know what I mean? Looking like queens. And then and now what we get is nothing like what we see right here. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm saying, hmm, botched. But anyway, I'll give you I'll give your soul if you disagree. Now, sadly, this part here was actually them talking about their brother who sadly passed away. But uh, I had to bring up this picture in reference to the fact that, hey, man, they are botched. But anyway, we continue. I just feel like it's not the right representation of you. Number one, there's a lot of photos with filters. So Darcy's gone to this woman, you know, a matchmaker who can help her find a man, you know what I mean? Uh, within a certain age range and whatnot. And uh, the woman told her straight, your photos are too, too filtered. Ain't no man gonna wanna take you seriously. Ain't no right man gonna come your way. You need to keep them real and authentic. So if I showed you a True. picture of a guy and he looks all young and then when you see him, he's got, right, okay. It's like <laughs> she, <laughs> she pretty much called her catfish without, without, without calling her catfish. That's a madness, that is a madness. But anyway, we could dig you. Kinda need you to give me some photos that are more authentic to who you look, okay? I sent her some great photos. Yes, they had some filters on it. I mean, it's still me. You know, I didn't really know what she was looking for at the time, so I just kind of sent her the best ones that I had in my phone. Yada 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 yada, like you said, it's still you. 
<laughs> Either way, though, man, that was uh, obviously what went down on this week's episode in terms of obviously the points that I obviously wanted to bring to YouTube. But if you want to see the reaction to the full, full video, you know what I mean? Okay, you can catch that on my Patreon with myself in particular, you know what I'm saying? So uh, please feel free to check that out. Link is down below in the description. But also at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Notification bells on. Mm-hmm.